Hello, everyone. My name is Karthi Thyagarajan. I'm a solutions architect with Google Cloud Platform. So I'm going to talk about Cloud Memory Store for Redis, as well as Open Census today. First, Cloud Memory Store for Redis. It provides a fully managed in-memory data store service that's built on scalable, secure, and highly available infrastructure that's managed by Google. Now, caching capability, as most of you know, is extremely important for most production applications. And latency goes hand in hand with caching. The, re the way most people reduce latency is using caching. Now, tracing this latency in an end-to-end -end fashion for your application is the role of observability. And it helps you design your application faster, and it will also help you diagnose issues faster. Now, I should point out that Cloud Memory Store for Redis already has powerful monitoring capabilities built in, but this is entirely on the server side. In this video, what we'll look at is how you can build observability of attributes like end-to-end -end latency directly into your applications with something called Open Census. Open Census is a vendor agnostic set of libraries that provides metric collection as well as tracing capabilities. So before we get to our demo, let's look at the uh, application architecture. Our application is a simple three-tier application, and it's hosted on Google Kubernetes Engine. At its core, it consists of a simple Java Spring Boot application. And users interact with this application via GCP's HTTPS load balancer. And for the database tier, our application uses Cloud SQL, specifically the MySQL engine in Cloud SQL. When the user issues a query against our application, the results returned from the database are cached using Cloud Memory Store for Redis. With that context, let's see the demo in action. So in this application, what we'll do is we will look for our employees in our directory by typing in part of their name. In this case, we'll type in Mel, and we see that a whole bunch of results are returned. In addition to those results, we also see that the application tells us how long that query took, 248 milliseconds in this case. Now let's try that query again. We'll type in mail again. And as you can see now, it only took one millisecond. That's because the results were cached in Cloud Memory Store for Redis. Let's dive a little deeper into it by looking at what Open Census tracing tells us. We've configured Open Census to perform trace logging into Cloud Trace, which is a service offered by Google Cloud Platform. Navigating to Cloud Trace, we can see that our trace logs are easily identifiable by the name of the function that we used. And in this case, it also tells us how long the overall function took, 248 milliseconds approximately. Open Census tracing also lets us dive deeper into our overall function call. You can see here that our application attempted to get the results from the cache, in this case, Cloud Memory Store for Redis, did not find it in the cache, hence the request to MySQL. Down below, you can see that MySQL took approximately 244 milliseconds, about twice the order of magnitude that it would take to fetch the data from Redis. We can also see here that we have annotated cache misses to help us better trace our application. Diving a little deeper into what happens after our results are fetched from MySQL, you can see that our application added the results to the cache using add to cache. What about the second time the query is issued? We expect the results to be fetched from the cache, and that's what we see using Open Census Tracing. We can see that this query took a lot less time, around one millisecond. Because the results were found in the cache, it did not have to access the database, and we saved approximately 240 milliseconds. That's quite a bit of time. So that was the happy path. You can see how we also have library level tracing here. OK, now let's see how Open Census can help us diagnose issues that occur. What we'll do here is we'll simulate a network issue where we cannot reach our Redis host. And we'll type in the name Mel again. While we expect this to take a lot less time because we expect the results to be in the cache, we see that it actually takes 240 milliseconds or so. So there's something wrong with our application. There's too much latency. So let's go back to Open Census Tracing and look for the most recent request. Diving deeper into it, we see that there was a cache miss. And the reason for the cache miss is that our application was unable to connect to Redis. Now in production, 
we would have to chase this error down and it would be a lot more difficult to find the error without this tracing capability. Now we know that it's a network issue or some kind of connectivity issue getting to Cloud Memory Store for Redis and we know where to focus our efforts. So that can save us a lot of time during diagnosis. Hopefully that gives you an idea of how you can use Open Census for both improving performance as well as diagnosing issues. To summarize, we looked at how you can use Cloud Memory Store for Redis to significantly reduce latency in your application. Following that, we also saw how you can build in end-to-end -end observability directly into your application using Open Census. If you're interested in using Open Census in your application, please visit opencensus.io. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.